60 seconds. This is the, I believe, like the definitive edition. It's called 60 Seconds Reatomized, and I got this on the last Steam sale. So like the, uh, the, the spring sale. I probably got this for a few bucks, and I definitely remember a lot of this game from, I want to say, 2016. I, I would think that's the year that this game was uh, first dropped and played by all of the big YouTubers of that time, and it's sort of like, I don't know if you could call it a roguelike, but it's definitely, it definitely thrives on replayability. Uh, that is, if you don't know what you're doing, because uh, there are some strategies uh, that, you know, you need to follow in order to make it to the end. I also looked up that your average playthrough is around two hours, so we are going to be giving this a shot. What does this mean? What? Uh, oh. Uh, the full atomic experience, scavenge around your house for supplies, and then survive the post-apocalypse uh, post in your fallout shelter. I would assume that this is, like, the normal mode. What is this? Oh, the tutorial. I don't think we necessarily need the tutorial, right? Oh, okay. So these are just different, uh, sort of challenges that you can do. Uh, I see. So this is just the scavenging part, and then this is just the survival part. And then what is this? Perfect your post-apocalyptic skills and unlock fancy rewards in these special challenging adventures. Okay. I think we should just get into it. I think, uh, I know enough. Let's try it. Uh, select character. I mean, we gotta go with Ted, right? Oh, and then there's a difficulty. Oh, well. Darn. I think we should go with the easiest one, honestly. The little boy difficulty. Though that will be the longest one. Let's go with it. Begin adventure. Alright, so I believe we have, it said, 20 seconds to scavenge, or to look at what we have. Uh, we have the gun up there, which, honestly, we might not need. Uh, we'll see if we can grab that at the very end, but we're gonna try to go for all of our family. Uh, let's just throw, I think his name is Timmy, or Tommy. Let's grab the gun. Let's grab some food and water from the kitchen. Why is this so janky? I feel like it looks like strafing is the most <laughs> uh, effective, honestly. Although I am uh, bumping into stuff. Uh, let's grab oh, all of this food and water. That works. Uh, yeah, strafing is like really fast. I don't know why. Where's our wife? Oh, gas mask is pretty important. Is that... Okay, playing cards, a med kit. Okay, our wife is over here. And I think... Okay, she's just two slots. Okay, briefcase, can't take that. I might be fucked. Um, I just gotta stand here. Okay. And if you don't make it to the shelter before the bomb hits, do you just die? I have no idea. Anyway, hopefully we got enough food and water, right? Day one. Here we go. We, uh, we didn't get the daughter. Oh, but we got a lot of water. Not a lot of... Oh, yeah, we did. We got plenty of soup. Uh, food. Uh, we got a radio. We've got a Boy Scout manual. I don't remember grabbing that. We've got a board, excuse me, a board game, a harmonica, and cards. We also have a gun. 
ammo, which is crazy. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's just, it's just a lock and a key. Or rather, I don't know what it's for, to be honest. Uh, and we have a med kit, and we've got our gas mask. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six water, and it looks like six soup as well. Let's try to get to the end. Uh, so yeah, this is where we get to sort of uh, chill out, and it's much more of a uh, a longer period of stress, um, as opposed to the scavenge part where it's uh, 60 seconds of stress. Anyway, day one. Almost all of us made it to the shelter. Almost. Uh, all we can do now is start thinking of creative ways to serve our canned soup. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room. Okay, so I did not grab all of that soup and water uh, because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. Okay, so I, did, I definitely did not grab these. And that makes sense. I remember seeing the harmonica. I think it was on, like, the windowsill. But I did not grab it. Uh, the Boy Scout manual can probably aid us in knowing what to do outside. Uh, or even inside. I I'm not sure. But yeah, the lock and key. I I'm, I'm really not sure. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. It's just day one, man. Come on. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stocked shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. That is great. Time to ration supplies. Okay, so... I am pretty sure that I had to look up the strats for uh, rationing stuff. And they say every five days you give them a full, like, soup and water. So, we're not giving them anything. Uh, we keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day. Again, it's only been the first day uh, when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads anyway. Right? So, if you're unfamiliar with this game, uh, we were stalking our, uh, uh, our fallout shelter because there was a nuke. And that's it. Memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on reality ahead of us. It is day two. Ted seems to be doing alright, even though the world has gone to shh, a crappy place. Dolores is fine and well, as much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. Nothing new to report on Timmy. His name is Timmy. I was right. Uh, time to ration supplies. It is day two, so we are giving them nothing. Should we go outside? Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that. We thought it'd be a great idea to have some role-playing fun and create our own shelter theater group. We call it the Thunderdome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into a fight over it and decided that maybe it would be best to play something simpler. Okay, going to day three. So far, so good. They look fine. What do we have to report? We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying, and we quickly stopped. Ted should drink something soon. Dolores will not last long without water. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Okay. So, I'll probably give them stuff on day five, like it said. Uh, but of course, they... Maybe I should give them water on... Day four. That might be uh, the strat. Uh, as we were about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door. Uh oh. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. And they are outside in the radioactive uh, fallout. Uh, they were doing much worse than us, and 
supplies we could spare. Well, they're not taking our meds. I think we'll just give them a water bottle, right? That's probably good. Okay, fine. This will probably come back to help us. I would think. Oh my god, and I think it did. Let's see. We've never seen anyone so touched by a simple gift. A minute later, those poor people were hugging us like there was no tomorrow. Quite possible, actually. And thanking us for the gesture. They were eager to repay us, and one of their group offered us a map of the local area. They claimed it helped them get here, so it brought luck upon whoever used it. We promised we will give it a try and wish them a safe journey. Okay, so I would assume that this would be great for uh, whoever goes out uh, for supplies. When we're ready for that, of course, Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Dolores will not survive without uh, water any longer. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Sounds great. Now, can you, like, give half of water? Oh, 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 oh. I see. So you can give three. Oh, okay, so each of these waters is four rations. I see. I did not realize that. But day four, water going out. Uh, our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Big risk. We're not going to go out. It's tough surviving in these conditions. Let's hope this will be over soon, or else we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. Ignore the car outside. That's not something we are looking forward to. All right. A, we've got the prepper achievement. Uh, oh, nice little uh, self-portrait, I guess, there, Timmy. Can we do, oh my god, we can actually like click on this stuff. You can click on each character, rifle, dead, Dolores, cards, harmonica, checkers. Oh, and you can check your, uh, your food supply and stuff. That's cool. Okay. Day five, being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and await the rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? It says they're no longer thirsty, but I don't know about food. I am going to chill out on food. Uh, neighborhood is still very radioactive, and we've got a choice to make. A group of people dressed in green pajamas uh, knocking on our hatch is not something that we anticipated. Yet, this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor, okay? We're pretty poor, so maybe we can make some new friends should we let them in. Are we poor? I, I feel like we have a decent amount of stuff. If they knocked on our, on our door, like, later on when we had less stuff. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's let them in. Why not? It's a good gesture. Uh-oh. They took our gas mask. God damn it, in our ammo. Those merry men were not merry at all. They told us we, that we were rich and that we should share with the other 99% of the wasteland. They grabbed a few things and left. We couldn't do anything to stop them. Their green clothes were too damn hypnotizing. Okay, uh, Timmy should eat something. Ted says, there, uh, Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. All right. Awesome, Ted. Um, fuck. We fucked up. Uh, I guess my intuition was correct in that we, if we got the Merry Men, like, later on, then we definitely could have given them, or, or let them in, and they probably would have give us, given us stuff if we were running low on stuff. I guess that's just something that you gotta learn from. Uh, Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Well, I guess this is in the perspective of Ted. Uh, Ted also says that Timmy does not need uh, food, so we're not 
not giving him food until it says he really, really needs food. Uh, okay, it looks like the content, it looks like the radiation has calmed down a little bit. However, we just lost our god gosh darn gas mask, so we can't go out there. Uh, the trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans, and that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Jesus. Both of them are attracting, strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the war. Uh, before the war, were they? Uh, what, what is this supposed to be? Like, oh, there's bug spray, and then there's the handbook. I guess the handbook is for smacking them. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll kill them with the handbook. But does that mean we can't use it anymore? Oh, okay. It's still there. Uh, an insane person is highly unpredictable. Why does it say that? Oh, whoa. You can click on the map. Like, you can mark a spot on the map. That's interesting. Uh, well, I also have to mention that our ammo is gone for the rifle, and we can't really use the rifle at all outside, but uh, I'm sure that we can still use it for, like, intimidation factor. Uh, day 7, we are a week in. That was close. A nest of those glowing bugs might have been more th uh, than enough to drive us out into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches, yikes. Timmy should eat something. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. Uh, Ted should drink something soon. Ted is hungry. Dolores can't remain this thirsty for long. Uh, Dolores would really love to eat something. Okay, it's a week in. It's been seven days, and they haven't eaten anything. I think it's time for them to eat. I think that's fair. And then we're gonna, we're gonna wait on the water. Uh, yeah. Still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. I think we mind getting sick, I'm gonna be honest. Even though we do have this. Oh, day seven. Uh, we decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store... I, okay, that fuck... Sorry. But that fly that keeps appearing in uh, the, 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 the shelter, I keep thinking it's a fly in real life. And it's like distracting me. Anyway, uh, when we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness, and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. We only had moments to decide what to do. Okay, well, uh, we have the gun. If it is an animal, this gun doesn't mean shit, but it's the only thing we have, so you can beat it to death. I don't know. Day 8, how's everybody doing? Everybody looks fine. Looks like we got an open soup can on the table. The water bottle that was in the corner here is now gone. Oh, just kidding. It's right here. Uh, a quick shot with the rifle was more than enough to scare away or maybe bring down whatever creature stalked us in the darkness. We never saw it again. That's interesting. Uh, also, it looks like people really need water, so... I guess everybody's getting water now. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's day eight, so that's another four days. Uh, okay, yeah, no, uh, it's still highly radioactive. I don't want anyone to get sick. Um, we stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. That's good, because we have a radio. Uh, we're pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear, what if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it, but what about the chill? Boy, I don't care. Unless, I like, I, can you decipher Russian? Looks like uh, Demi is fine. Uh, we were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't Soviets we heard. Turns out it was Canadians, which isn't that much better. Nice. Uh, either way, they're foreigners, and we couldn't understand what they were saying. Not a word. How disappointing. Looks like everybody is doing fine, except Timmy is a little hungry. But we're going to wait for everybody to be hungry. Or rather, deathly hungry, I guess. Um, it's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started 
asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? You know what? I think that's a good idea. Let's do it. Unless it has bad consequences, which I, I, I would think that there would be very little opportunity for that to happen. Uh, we were able to get a weak signal and tap into government, uh, government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Well, uh, okay. Timmy should eat something still, but he's not, like, deathly uh, ill because of it. So nobody's getting anything. Uh, what is this? What's next? Make contact with other wastelanders. Is that, like, a checklist? Okay. Uh, let's have someone uh, go out. I, I guess Ted should, uh, should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Sure. Oh, it's this, I see. Oh, who should go outside? Ted. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? Is that all it is? Oh no, this is just the... the Okay, I see. This is just the, the, the random encounter. Uh, yeah, Ted, you go ahead and go outside because it's it's safe to do so. And it's just a phone. It'd be really funny if we sent Timmy out there, but we're not going to do that. And you know what, Ted? You need a little bit of experience out there before you actually go out. Day 11. Alright, looks like we're doing alright. What was it? When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on the on their side, rather. We hope they will get back to us. Uh, okay. I don't know what this store is supposed to be. I don't know if this is, like, extra content that they added, or this is just, like, a quests that you can do. I don't know. Uh, Timmy should eat something. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now we should get him some water. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Okay. Interesting. Uh, okay. Looks like everybody needs water right now. But what else does it say? Okay, everybody's just... Okay, Timmy's just hungry, but not deathly hungry. Uh, it looks like people really need water right now, so, I mean, it is day 11, it hasn't been another four days, but it's whatever, it's fine, uh, okay, what to take outside, okay, we're gonna grab Ted, uh, enough sitting around, it's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies, maybe something survived the blast, maybe someone is still alive, let's find out. Uh, we are going to send Ted out there, and, oh, you can just cycle through, I see. Uh, oh, maybe the rifle, maybe the map. Why can't I take anything else, though? I'm going to take the map out. I guess we need these for extra stuff. But yeah, the map, pretty, pretty good. Um, it's either the map or the gun. But honestly, I don't think it's going to be that dangerous yet. So, hopefully he's good. I think he spends the entire day out there. And the map is gone, and so is Ted. I can't even click on Ted to see his name. Anyway, Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon, so we don't actually know. Um... Okay, it says Timmy is very hungry, and Dolores is no, uh, uh, would really love to eat something. Okay, fine, fine. We still have plenty of food right now. Uh, if there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. Uh, you can 
bad mouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie or good citizens. I didn't realize there was such, like... I mean, yeah, this is supposed to be, like, Cold War era, but I thought it was going to be, like, like not pseudo, but, but like, not exactly, if that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, we're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we never mind. Uh, the government people are coming, and we should keep our ears and eyes open for any sign from them. I agree. Very glad that we have the, uh, the radio. That is Morse code. We know it. The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Dolores is no longer hungry. Timmy should eat something. Get the hell out of here. You're not eating anything for, like, until day 18, Timmy. I honestly should write that down to remember, but it's fine. Uh, what's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. It's only reasonable to go check it out. How about using that manhole in the corner? Uh, no, don't do that at all. Uh, okay. We don't have anything to help us with that, so let's see. Let's see what happens. It's like Timmy's just dead. Nope, they're fine. Uh, going into a tight, dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially with those weird noises coming from it. They are giving us the creeps, even up here. Okay, we didn't do anything, I see. So we just got monsters underneath us. Uh, Timmy should eat something. No, he should not. Uh, he should drink some water. Dwarves should drink some water. Okay, we're gonna wait until they're extremely thirsty. Our supplies are scarce, and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from the retirement home. Okay, how, how the fuck did they survive? It shouldn't be hard to... Oh, I see. Should we steal from the retirement home? From the old people? Yeah, let's do that. Let's try it. Let's see if we got anything from it. Uh-oh. <laughs> we got an achievement called the Dark Side. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, we got an axe. Okay, that's it. We went, got what we needed, and came back. It was just Dolores and Timmy. Uh, we're sure that group will do just fine. Most probably, yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, they need water. There you go, guys. Uh, before the world turned into an unforgiving, dead wasteland, we were friends with almost everybody in our town, including the old man Jim, who would shamble through our street often and always said hello. When we wanted to visit him once, he, ga he gave us an address that took us to a park. Old man Jim is such a joker. It appears that he survived the blast since he's at our door right now asking if we want to buy a rock. It, it, I don't want to buy a rock. But I feel like old man Jim is like... I don't know. He might be a cool guy. I, I, I feel like he's got those vibes. I really hope we don't lose our water for it. We don't have a choice of what to give him. Rocks. We love rocks. Mary Jane used to have a sizable collection. Oh, Mary Jane is the dead one. Um, but she used to have a sizable collection of minerals, and we were all really fond of it. Even the simplest radioactive rock is a good start for a new collection. Nice. The one we chose is really pretty, and Jim didn't even want anything in return. Oh my god. He told us it brings luck and that we should cherish it. Seems like things are really going our way today. Uh, very hungry, has not eaten for a while. I guess, yeah, let's give you guys some soup. Also, Ted is out there, 
and he's probably very, very thirsty right now. I hope he's not dead. Um, mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All of these options are pretty grim. We could use spare ammunition or something else to get rid of every one of these pests. Well, we don't have the ammunition to do so, so... It's time to start swinging. Uh, Timmy, let's get it. Hopefully everything goes well, and he doesn't, like, get sick or anything. Day 17, we're getting pretty far, honestly. A, our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Uh, guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Very hungry. No longer hungry. Timmy, get the hell out of here. You're not eating the food. You just ate yesterday. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out and leave? Walk the surface like we used to. Smell the fumes and pollution. Oh, that's the scent of freedom we miss. Um, there's actually nothing to do this time. Cool. Cool. Also, is, isn't that incorrect? It's day 17, but this is 18. Well, anyway, I really hope Dad comes back. Day 18. Come on, he's fucking back. <laughs> yes, I called it, baby. He does not look good at all, though, so we're probably gonna have to feed the boy. We can take care of ourselves. Dad has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Oh my god, we got nothing. Ted is hungry. Ted is really tired. Timmy's very hungry. Uh, we can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Okay, so they're thirsty, which means we are going to be uh, giving them water tomorrow. I can't believe we got nothing from that. Um, uh, Ted is just a little hungry, which is weird. I think we'll just let him be for today. Um, should we prepare a trip? Hold on. When conducting our daily supply count, we've noticed that a soup can was missing. We're absolutely sure it was ju there just yesterday. That can only mean one thing. We have a soup thing, a uh, thief among us. Now we just need to figure out who the culprit is. I mean, there's no way it's dead. He just got back, right? I mean, everybody is hungry. Oh, wait. But Dolores isn't. It might be Dolores. But if it is Timmy, that'd be really bad if... Because, like, Dolores is fine. Ugh, I don't know. And Timmy is always hungry. But I don't know if this just, uh, because it says Timmy is very hungry, I don't know if that means Timmy is saying he's hungry, or he is actually hungry. Dolores is not hungry at all, but everybody, except for Dolores, is hungry. But Ted has been outside, so it's, it's really hard to gauge. Ted hasn't eaten anything in so long. I am going to guess that it was Dolores. Fuck it. Was it her? Day 19. What if she's, like, gone? What if she left? Oh my god, Ted. What the hell? Looks like we just made a mistake when counting and started pointing fi- What? It's easy to think the worst when stuck underground in a tiny, stinky cement box. The can was there all along, and the only thing we managed, managed to do is turn against each other and fight for no reason. Oops. Lesson learned. Well, that is bullshit. Um, Ted still hasn't recovered his energy. Ted should drink something soon. Ted looks very weak. If he doesn't eat today, he might. it might end really badly. Uh, okay, Timmy needs water. Okay, it looks like the both of them need water. Ted just needs food. So Ted, food, water, water. We are running out of water. That is not great. But everybody is good uh, to go. I think we should send someone out. Let's plan an expedition. Uh-oh. 
We were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camo clothing. She had a nasty-looking rifle, but she hailed us in a polite enough manner. She claims to be a hunter, tracking a big, mutated spider. She ran out of ammo and told us that if we were to help her out, she would pay us back in a while. Well, can't fucking do that, because we got that shit stolen. Sorry. Uh, we got to day 20. That truly is an achievement. An armed person who murders things for a living. Giant mutated spiders in our neighborhood. We don't want to have anything to do with this stuff. Goodbye, lady. Uh, we just couldn't help her. Uh, but whatever. Ted is still mighty tired and needs more time to recover his strength. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. He's also hungry. Timmy's very hungry. Uh, no longer thirsty. No longer thirsty. Okay, what did it say? Okay, Ted needs water. Okay, and I think that's it. We've been preparing for this expedition since yesterday and feel ready to go right now. Who would, uh, who should be the lucky one to venture into the unknown? It's Dolores. Uh, you're gonna take the map as well. Actually, X might be, actually. No, we can't, we can't send Timmy out. He's actually like, he's probably gonna die. I think she should either take the axe Yes. 
this every time we take a step towards the mysterious bag. Should we make a deal? Hell no. I am not giving that a shot after the first time. Ted is still fucked up, man. Jesus. Our grandparents always told us to never buy anything uh, sight unseen, and we're not about to start now. Gone are the times of yard sales. Yeah, I guess so. We can manage without whatever junk is in that mysterious bag. Ted is still mighty tired. Uh, he needs water. Okay. Water to you. Uh, you would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since, you know, most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet, here we have someone at the door. When we opened it up, we encountered a strange-looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him a water chip. A water chip? What in the hell is that? Um, yeah, we can't do that. Sorry, dude. There's no guarantee that Dolores is going to come back with water. Uh, Ted, you... I think you look better. I think. Uh, Dolores is not back, so I was wrong. It is now day 25. We were sorry to explain we didn't know what a water chip was and that we didn't have one. He thanked us in a few short words and left. Uh, Ted is rested. Let's go. Okay. Everybody is doing fine. We have a little bit of water. We have a working radio. Why not use it? Maybe we'll be able to catch a broadcast or two. Why not do that every day, honestly? Day 26, Dolores is not back. All right, nothing, nothing, and nothing. We could hear nothing but the annoying static. Better luck next time. Uh, okay, Timmy needs food. Or he dies, so that's fine. Timmy is bored out of his mind, and he won't leave Ted alone. First, he wanted to play tag. Now it's hide-and-seek, which are both terrible ideas for a small shelter like this. Ted is in a bad mood and just wants to be left alone, but Timmy isn't giving up. How about charades? Let's do it. We need to give it a shot. Ted, you've just got your energy back. You need to be a father. Uh, Timmy looks real fucked up, fatigued, he's tired. This really wasn't the best matchup. One moment, Ted and Timmy were calmly writing down riddles. The next, they were screaming at each other, accusing the other of cheating. How do you even cheat at this game? Okay. Uh, looks like Ted is doing fine. Uh, Timmy, not so much. Uh, we need to give him water. Great. Uh, that rock we got from Old Man Jim really was a lucky one. Today he came back carrying a big bottle full of fresh, cool water. He was very generous and allowed us to drink from it. This could, this should quench our thirst in the days to come. So should we not give Timmy water? Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna let Timmy drink that water. He should be fine. Yeah, he's fine. Oh my god. Dolores. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, oh my god, she got ammo. That's crazy. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. The police, sorry, the police station was still standing and we found a few officers who were still alive. Well, they didn't look like the ones we remembered, but they all have uniforms and badges. So they must be some kind of a replacement cops. That's interesting grammar. Uh, the building was mostly destroyed, but they made the best of it and set up their operation in the basement. They even painted some walls with a bunch of morale-boosting slogans like New Order and The World is Ours. They had plenty of water in their stash. They were acting very nervously and immediately consented to sharing when asked. That's funny. Uh, then they all started exercising. Okay, we got water. An ammunition pack was just lying outside the station. That's great. And our map really took a beating during...
our own. We'd better keep an eye out for those on future expeditions. That's wild. Uh, I guess that's a thing that you can do. Let me see this. Oh, we just have to await further instructions. So, probably not. Um, uh, okay, Timmy's fine. Ted, uh, okay, Ted needs food. And, yeah, Dolores is fine. So, Ted just needs the food, right? Let me check one more time. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we can't send anybody out right now. Everybody's tired. Well, except for Ted. D wait, does he need a nap? Hold on. Uh, how do I... How do I take this down? Can I hit, like... No. Uh... Oh, I don't know. We're gonna... We're gonna wait for everybody to... To, to rest up a bit more. Uh, we've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. He should have been far from where the bombs fell. But no one knows for sure. It would be great to find out. He always looked on the bright side of life, so maybe we should too. But it's not easy. Say, didn't we have a photo of him tucked away in one of the books at home? Do we? Day 29. We're almost at 30, baby. Holy shit, guys. Everybody's f fucked up. Also, Dolores is starving. Um, we did. The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages of the scout handbook. What a lucky coincidence. It's a bit blurry, but it's still a wonderful uh, surprise. Uh, Dolores needs time to rest. Um, I think she's fine on water. Uh, she needs to eat. Uh, where is water when Ted needs it? What does that mean? Uh, I'm going to assume that Ted can go another day without water. Um, okay, Dolores needs to eat. It says there has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. Oh, God. Okay, fine, you get both. And I guess we do have another bottle. Here you go, Ted. He said he, said he needs water, right? Okay, fine. Um, Ted is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. Okay, we're going to send him out next. Dolores has been awful silent. Is there anything we can do to help her? The scout handbook. <laughs> All right, here we go. Day 30. All right, everybody still looks very fucked up. Also, Ted is fatigued. Maybe I shouldn't have decided to send him out there. You know what? It's fine. Uh, giving Dolores a book seemed like a good idea, but she was too tired and too sad to read anything. We hope she gets better soon. That's great. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Timmy should eat something. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Okay, here you go. Um, otherwise, everything is fine. Oh my god, I can't date. Wait. Oh, that's right. Um... Let's send Ted out with the gun. Yeah. And that is that. Day 31. I wouldn't be surprised if Ted uh, did not come back. Uh, Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Um, Timmy's diet needs food. It's today or never. You got it. Mysterious sounds are coming in. Uh, coming from our radio, but they're hidden behind a ton of static. Do we want to tinker with it a bit and find the right frequency? It could be something important, or it could be the opposite. Only one way to find out. Okay. I don't think that's a good idea because we could, we could end up breaking the radio, and I know that's a thing that can happen. And I know that would be very bad if it did happen. If it's mysterious sounds, we're not, we're not going for it. Day 32. Okay. 
let's see, tinkering with our precious radio sounds like a bad idea. Damn right. Let's just hope this wasn't anything important. Uh, Dolores would love to eat. Um, there has to be some water left, and Dolores should get it. Okay, Timmy. Timmy should eat something. That's it. Okay, cool. Uh, the army isn't coming, not yet anyway. That's today's radio news. Instead, they have been broadcasting a request for all citizens to assist them by cutting down trees in the nearby park. We don't know if it's... Uh, we don't know if some fancy general needs it for his fireplace or what, but they suggested it's either that or no evacuation. The choice is pretty obvious to us. Okay. Day 33. Oh my god, we lost our axe. God damn it, we chopped down as many trees as we could. It wasn't much, but hopefully it will make the difference they wanted. The next time they get in touch, it better be from a tank parked on our lawn. Or what's, le or what's left it. Our only regret is that this wood chopping business ruined our axe. Dolores is still tired, no longer thirsty. Uh, she needs to eat. Okay, she's gonna eat then. If there's one sure way to get our attention, it's definitely banging on our shelter door. Whoever it is, they're quite persistent. They've been at it for the past five minutes. Should we open? Let's do it. Just take a shot. Day 34. Oh, fuck. Dolores, what the fuck happened? Oh my god. A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious-looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. Opening that hatch was a bit risky. It seems it gave us some awful sickness. That coughing is driving us crazy. Okay. Uh, Dolores came down with a sickness. Wait, 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 hold on. Uh, we'd really love to eat something. Okay. Timmy's very hungry. And he needs water very badly. Alright, Dolores is going to get the meds. And I think that is it. I mean... Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll call it that. Uh, there's a man on our doorstep, and he wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. He looks harmless, although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms as a result of some weird mutation. Oh, okay. He assures us he, uh, he will not get sick and asks for our help if we can provide him and his group with some supplies. They would repay us by helping us fight off the next raiding party that comes our way, should we accept his offer. We can't. I'm sorry. We don't have the supplies for that. I apologize. Okay, Dolores is much better. That's good. That's great. Uh, okay. No matter how many spare hands these people have and how friendly they are, we simply cannot spare the supplies. We need to take care of our own. The man was disappointed, but he understood. Also, we are playing on the easiest difficulty, which means we will have the best chances at not getting uh, a raiding party. So, there's that. Uh, Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores is rested, cured from her illness, cannot remain this thirsty for long. Uh, Timmy needs food right now. Okay. And I think that's it. There isn't a lot of space down here, and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose, what bricks? I don't see any bricks in here. Uh, when one of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of this stench? Absolutely. We cannot allow anyone to get sick unless doing this gets them sick immediately. Oh my god. Okay, they're fine. I thought that was a bong. It looked like a bong to me. <laughs> uh, we looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. 
we gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. Okay. So did we get, like, an extra soup can? I, I don't know how that works. It looks like we did. Uh, but Ted has returned, baby. Uh, exploring a wasteland should begin in our own backyard. Uh, our street was a good choice. Plenty of well-stocked houses. A lot of neighbors we didn't like that could be robbed without hesitation. We decide... What? What? Okay. So we just robbed people. The debris formed a tunnel of sorts. At the end of the tunnel, there was a bright light. We were amazed. We were frightened. We were curious. We soon discover the meaning of all of this. Yep, it was a flashlight. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed. Uh-oh. Uh, we window shopped nearby parking lots for a vehicle that wasn't completely burnt out. Unfortunately, we found nothing of value. Maybe future expeditions will be more lucky. Uh, Ted is doing fine. Uh, okay, Dolores needs water right now. And that's it. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna chill out for a little, for a little bit. Excuse me. What's that glowing in your pocket, Timmy? Oh no, mutated ants. Their terrifying, terrifying little mandibles almost gave Dolores a heart attack. She wants them out, but Timmy says it's the beginning of an atomic ant farm. Uh, Dolores is right. I'm sorry. I just, I'm not about to experiment with the ants. Oh my fucking god. He's sick. Timmy is sick. Timmy reluctantly agreed to get rid of the insects, but once they escaped his pocket, they proved rather hostile. One even bit his finger. Let's keep our distance in case Timmy decides to mutate and grow a mandible overnight. Great. Uh, Ted is still mighty tired and needs more time to recover his strength. Uh, okay, Ted needs to eat. Uh, God damn it. Timmy needs something to drink right now. Fine. Fine. And, yeah, Ted needs to eat. There you go. What do we got? Timmy is not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and cheer him up. We'll do our best. Let's see what happens. Day 38. I wouldn't be surprised if Timmy does not survive this. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Uh, Ted is still mighty tired. Uh, he needs water. I can't do anything about Timmy's sickness, man. There's nothing I can do. Uh, Dolores needs food as well. So Ted needs to drink. Dolores needs to eat, right? My biggest fear is getting one of these wrong. So Dolores eat, Ted drinks, and... Uh, it's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping. Uh, too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. I'm not sure what a first aid kit can do about it. Unless you just, like, wrap the gauze around uh, the lights, which is a terrible uh, use of the med kit, I'll be honest. Day 39. Oh my god, Dolores, what are you doing? She's crazy. She went fucking nuts. Oh boy. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were, and there are other problems we, uh, we will need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Um, okay. Alright. Dolores has to drink. Would really love to eat something. Okay, everybody's fine. Except Dolores is nuts right now. Oh, Timmy. He was always a, uh oh, he was always a wild one. A shelter is not the best environment for a boy who's hell-bent on running around until he can barely breathe. He really misses that. He asked if he could go out to the surface even for a short while. This sounds highly 
be dangerous and irresponsible. Should we agree? Yes. If it's his time, it's his time. Oh, oh my god, I got an achievement. I thought he died. He's gone. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why is he not here today? When we consented, Timmy almost hit his head on the ceiling. We figured that if he doesn't encounter any savages, mutated beasts, or killer mimes, he should be fighting back soon enough. I'm sorry. What? I thought it was going to be for like an hour. That's insane. I didn't realize that. Alright, well, if he dies out there, he dies. Um, Ted is just hungry. Uh, and Dolores would really love to eat something. Um, okay, she needs water, though. So, there you go. We could really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today, and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know that a teacher from the local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building where they're relatively safe. And we could really use whatever they have. We could really use it, right? Yes, we could. Let's send Dolores over there. And her crazy ass. Oh my god, Timmy's back. Oh, and we have a fuck ton of food, but no water. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're still low on water. Um, we are now richer in some supplies, but for some reason we don't feel very good about it. Um, I'm sure there is a reason. Let's just never mention this whole thing again. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Uh, Ted is tired. Uh, needs water to survive. Okay, Ted needs both. Uh, okay, let's just handle that first. Go back. Uh, Dolores is not eaten for a while. Unpredictable. We're a bit afraid. Uh, okay. Great. Moving on. We can't, okay. Should we send Timmy out? Honestly, man. I don't know if Timmy's gonna make it. If we send him out, it would be the biggest Hail Mary. I don't know. We didn't uh, pack any razors when we came down to the shelter, and now some of us can be confused with a Sasquatch. A good sharp axe might be a perfect replacement for a razor. Yeah, well, we don't have that because of the gosh darn government. Um, yeah, I don't think we should send Timmy out. Let's just, let's keep him here. Let's do our best. Day 42. I think we got another message from the government. No axe, no shave. Maybe another time. Ted is still mighty tired and needs more time to recover. Uh, no longer thirsty. Stomach rumbling. Jesus, Dolores, what is this? She still isn't in full control of her mind. I don't know what that sound was. It sounded like it was my door. Uh, we're not sure what monsters are inhabiting her mind, but we wish they would just go away. Um, she can't get a good night's sleep. Uh, she needs to eat. Timmy's looking very pale. That's not good. Um, okay. Okay, let's give... Ted is fine. Dolores needs food. We're gonna give Dolores food. We're gonna give Timmy food and water. Uh, we have a fuck ton of food, honestly. So we can honestly give Timmy a bit of food for a minute, you know? Um, sending Timmy outside is a bit risky, but he's eager to help. That's great, Timmy, but you need to recover, bro. Uh-oh. It's been a while, but there was another message from the military on the radio. They want us to send one person out to meet them. Sounds like some kind of precaution or a trick. We hope we know what we're getting into. Who should we send? Oh my god, it would be so funny if we sent Dolores. But we're gonna send Ted. Because Dolores is nuts right now. Uh, Ted, you alright? He's fatigued and tired. What happened? We made it to the meeting. The serious-looking soldier asked us a few questions, made some notes, and told us they would get back to us. 
thirsty. That's good. We are going to give him some food because we are doing very well on food. Um, and we just kind of wait for him to recover. Uh, oh my god, the traitor's back. Okay, we can give him food. That is fine. Um, let's see what is in the bag. Let's hope it's water. Find a new companion. Oh no. It's a fucking cat. Are you kidding me? As soon as the door closed behind the traitor, the bag started to violently shake. Emitting, screeching, hellish sounds. Terrified. We backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to just be an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Its collar says Sharikov. Is that its name? I mean, I sure hope so. I mean, I would assume so, rather. Um, oh my god, Dolores is sane. Um, but she needs water. Uh, okay. Um, okay, Dolores just needs water. And Timmy, I, I, I don't know what to do about Timmy. Um, Dolores is in pretty good shape now, so we're going on an expedition tomorrow. On our way back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup. I hope it's not soup. We have too much of that. But, Dolores, you are going... Actually, no, we need to prepare you. Uh, so, Ted, you're going. Your raggedy ass. Day 45. Okay. Uh, oh my god, we got a gas mask. I didn't realize that. I didn't see that. We were afraid the map was a trap, leading us straight to, into a camp full of bandits. But it turned out to be true. At the end of the path, we found some supplies that might be helpful to us. Um, Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs water. Um, so water for Ted. Water for Ted. And we're going to give Timmy some soup. Uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Dolores, you are going outside with the... That's right. Okay. Day 46. Timmy is still sick. When did we get that bug spray? While playing in the shelter, Sharikov stumbled upon a uh, small wooden box that was hidden behind some loose bricks. It contained some useless memorabilia and a can of old bug spray. Good shit, Sharikov. Um... Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Uh, okay. Ted needs food. Ted needs food. Timmy needs water. Okay. We are very low on water, by the way. Very bad. It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future, but we can't help thinking about what can we make. I, I wonder who uh, what, like, country made this game? Because some of the grammar is, like, a little, uh, off, I guess. But we can't help thinking about what can we make of this terrible situation. Is our hills still standing? Or will we have, uh, to move to some forsaken hole like Toronto? Nice. That's a good joke. Even though I'm not, <laughs> I'm not familiar with Toronto myself, um, but I feel like they should know by day 46 if their house is still standing, you know? Anyway, day 47. What are you doing there, Char uh, Sharikov? Uh, we can make it work, even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that's the best way to get to Europe. Toronto. What is Toronto? God damn it. I feel, uh, geographically inept. Um, looks like everybody is fine now. Uh, so, no food or water. Dolores is temporarily out of the shelter. We can finally talk, uh, out loud without someone shushing us every five minutes. Our shelter isn't a library. Tonight our shelter shall be a concert hall. We're gonna use the harmonica. Not the radio. We're gonna go nuts on that harmonica. Day 48. When do when does the game end? Is it like day 70? Because that that's a long way from now. Uh, 
dancing off key singing and music so loud it temporarily drowns out the quiet hum of existential dread in our heads. Just what we needed to start another day with the new with new energy. Um, Ted needs water. Okay, that's it. Holy shit, we have one more water ration. That's really not good. Uh, while trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on its collar with an address scribbled on it. Could its previous owner still be around and worried sick? Chances are slim, but maybe we should pay them a visit. Or at least whatever's left of them. Please let there be water. Day 49. Okay. Sharikov is gone. No water. We grabbed our new fluffy friend for a little stroll through the wastes, only to immediately run into a couple of gentlemen dressed in trench coats, fedoras, and shades. They gritted their teeth at the sight of the cat and said they'd been looking for it. Apparently it belongs to their dear old man, who loves it dearly. Before we could utter a word, they took Sharikov, thanked us, and left. The cat didn't seem to mind, so maybe it's for the best. Wow. Um, we can't do anything about Timmy's sickness. Uh, okay. No rations. No water. What we initially thought was thunder turned out to be heavy knocking on the door. Someone either hates that door or is very determined to have someone answer it. Should we open it? Please let it be water. I am begging. Oh, fuck. We died. Shit. We opened the door expecting friendly faces. Instead, we were beaten, tied up, and forced to watch a band of raiders plunder our home. If there was ever a time when we thought of our shelter as home, it was right then. These thugs didn't seem to care what happened to us, whether we lived or died. We don't see a bright future for us. We survived for 50 days. Day one, all of us are okay, but okay. So it gives us the updates and like the, the all the events. That was crazy. Oh my god. I think we got pretty far, man. I think we handled it pretty damn well. Um, I guess we'll just go over the, uh, the summary of events. Um, so day one, Mary Jane did not make it down there. And you know what? That's I feel like that was for the best, honestly. Because, well, I guess we couldn't, like, send a whole lot of people out in that case. But the drawback would be that we would need more mouths to feed. Uh, day four, widows might. I don't know what that means. Was it the, the spider? I don't know. Uh, day six, call the sheriff. Day seven, Swarm. Day 9. Uh, language lesson. Day 10. Nuclear fallout has gone. Okay, so day 10 is usually the time to start going out, but I believe if you have a gas mask, you're able to go out before then. If I ever do this again, I'm gonna have to look that up um, to, to, to confirm. Uh, day 11. An unexpected call. Day 13. Made contact with the military. Day 14, the neighbors downstairs. Day 15, the dark side. Uh, the dark side. Day 16, wanna buy a rock. 17, beast fight. 19, soup thief, which was not an actual thief. Uh, day 20, the huntress. 22, cosmonaut propaganda. 23, card tricks. Holy shit. All right, there's a lot. I'm not going through all of it. But, yeah. Day 50, we did it. Well, we didn't do it, but we got all the way to day 50. I think that is a great achievement for our first try. So, you know, if you want to see uh, another one of these, I would absolutely love to make another one. Uh, games like these where there's a lot of, like, text to read, um is always great for the channel and for me because uh, I don't have to like do a whole lot of commentary and I'm able to satisfy the whispering side of things uh, just 
by reading. And, uh, yeah, I would absolutely love to give this another shot. Um, but yeah, only if you guys want to see it. Otherwise, I will be, uh, perfecting my craft, my 60 seconds craft. Also, I believe there is a sort of like a, a sequel to this game called 60 parsecs which is like uh like the exact same as this situation same format i believe but just like in space something like that um but yeah i, I think it'll be a while before i play that uh because i did not cop that game on the springs uh, uh the spring steam sale so yeah that'll probably be uh the next sale and all that <laughs> so uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed that video i think it was around an hour and a half that would be my guess i can't remember totally because i've I, I had to split it up into two sections uh for reasons but we did it we did a video on 60 seconds very classic game i'm sure a lot of people i'm sure everybody knows about this game you know i didn't have to uh provide a whole lot of context for it it's pretty self-explanatory anyway that's enough for me if you want to see more of this let me know and i can maybe turn it into a long-term series kind of like what i'm doing with risk of rain and uh yeah hope you enjoyed hope you found it relaxing and <laughs>